Good morning, it's Jim in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. So today it's the uh, 27th of April, and it's kind of a dismal day today, but uh, we thought we would film a little bit anyhow. So uh, the plants have been growing. If you look over this way, uh, these are peppers that we just planted a couple weeks ago, and they're starting to get big. And the tomatoes, we have one uh, patio and one a uh, little bit larger tomato in here and then we've got two more on the outside garden. Uh, herbs and, and strawberries are not doing too much so far. We got a lot of lettuce. Shut shine on all over here. Yeah. Uh, strawberries are not making full size strawberries yet. I think this one right here is gonna be a real strawberry to start with. Uh, and the romaine lettuce is uh, we've eaten it several times in the last week or two. I have little cucumber starts that are just going in. They're going to go outside. So anyhow, what I want to talk about to start with is worms a little bit. Or actually not worms, but uh, night crawlers. So all of the fish in this system are being fed night crawlers that I catch. That's a little bitty one right out of uh, my yard out here. Uh, they go about, anyhow, I feed them about 10 or 12 a day, give or take, and they are very, very healthy for me. All these fish have ever eaten and I have not lost a single fish. They're all the original fish. So, uh, anyhow, the reason I have the night crawlers out is because I have a brown bullhead in the furthest tank down there that we're going to attempt to lure out and catch the fish. Uh, just by size, two of these tanks together has the same dimensions as that watering trough, the 300 gallon outside. So we feel like the uh, bullhead will like it out there and we need him out there anyhow to do his thing to make the plants grow. So what we're going to do Let's get a worm. This is not a huge one, but it's easy to work with. We're going to get a worm and we're going to wave it around in there and hopefully he will come out of this cave and go for it and then I'm going to scoop him up and take him out there. Uh, when I put him in there, he was as big as my thumb. And as you'll see shortly, he's uh, quite a bit bigger than that now. So let's see if we can get him out. It's going to take a little longer. He's interesting, he eats out of my hand. He doesn't like it if I drop the worm. But he's gonna want it and it takes him a minute. He can smell it now. He's pretty sensitive. Anyhow, we have successfully uh, put the catfish, a brown bullhead by the way, in its new home. Uh, one thing you should know is bullhead catfish don't get too big. About a foot long and two or three pounds is the absolute top end. So. Don't go out and get yourself like a channel cat or something because it will be like this long in a year and you won't know what to do with it. Unless you want to eat it, of course, and then it would be different. Anyhow, the, you can see there's a little bit of uh, algae growth in this new setup we've got here, which is absolutely normal. So the tip of the day is when you put in a new pond, don't get all freaked out when it gets a little green for a while. It will do that and then it will do go through its natural cycle. It may take a little while longer than you think and then everything will be okay. So that's the tip of the day. We'll see you next time.